MPV stands for multi-purpose vehicle. MPVs are sometimes called people carriers. If you need a car that can carry a lot of people, you may consider getting an MPV. MPVs are designed to create as much interior space as possible and often have more seats than a comparable hatchback or saloon. Most allow you to fold or remove the back seats in various ways to prioritize passenger space, load space or a mix of the two. All MPVs have at least 5 seats. The biggest have as many as 9, which is the maximum a car can have before the driver needs a commercial vehicle license. 5 seat MPVs such as the Ford C-Max have 2 rows, with 2 seats in the front and 3 in the back. MPVs with more than 5 seats have 3 rows. A 7-seat MPV has a 2-3-2 layout. An 8-seat MPV has a 2-3-3 layout. A 9-seat MPV has a 3-3-3 layout. There are a few 6-seat MPVs with a 2-2-2 layout, as well. MPVs are built with families in mind, they often have features that are designed especially for kids. In our previous video you may watch the best MPVs for American region. This video is intended for MPV vehicles of the European market. So let's start. Volkswagen Turin Turin has 7 seats, and those big rear doors mean anyone with a degree of flexibility can access the back row. There's plenty of room back there for kids. The middle row, meanwhile, has three individual seats that slide backwards and forwards, so adults will have no trouble getting comfortable. Both front seats are height adjustable too. The Volkswagen Touring's 1.6 liter diesel is the best all-round engine. It's just about quick enough and cheap to run. Go for the punchy 2.0 liter diesel, if you'll do a lot of fast motorway driving. the cheap to buy 1.2 liter petrol if you will use your Touring mostly for short town journeys Seat Alhambra. This is an old school of MPV vehicles. Alhambra is an excellent people carrier and one of the few that can really take seven people. It's a slightly cheaper alternative to the Volkswagen Chiron. Other alternatives you could consider include the Ford Galaxy, Citroen C4 Space Tourer and the Renault Grand Scenic. The car comes with sliding rear doors which are a huge help when getting people in and out in tight parking spaces. Seat Alhambra is stable, safe and inspires confidence when you're driving it. There's a good range of petrol and diesel engines to choose from, too, all of which have at least 150 horsepower. If you spend most of your time in town, the 1.4 liter petrol will be ideal. But, if you are going on to the motorway more often, especially with a heavy load, then go for the 2.0 liter diesel, which is available with a manual or automatic gearbox.
Renault Grand Scenic. This is a large family MPV that combines the practicality of seven seats with wild styling that helps it stand out from the likes of the VW Chiron and Seat Alhambra. Renault Grand Scenic's engines have enough folk to pull you along quite happily. The diesel version's nice and quiet on motorways and is impressively economical. If you do lots of short journeys, especially in town, the petrol engine's a better bet. This is a MPV with a big 7 seats, there's space for 3 adults in the middle row and just about enough space for 2 more in the back while the VW Chiron is a bit more spacious still. Volkswagen Chiron. The VW Chiron is one of the best all-round seven-seater MPVs on the market but it isn't as funky as a Citroen Grand C4 Picasso or as sharp to drive as a Ford Galaxy. This is a practical seven-seat family car with loads of space in the back and a range of efficient petrol and diesel engines. The Chiron was launched in 2010 and refreshed in 2015 with remodeled bumpers, revised interior trim and a new infotainment system. You can get the Chiron with one petrol and two diesel engines. The 150 horsepower 1.4 liter petrol model will return around 35 miles per gallon and is your best bet if you spend most time driving around town. The 150 horsepower 2.0 liter diesel version will be more suitable if you travel long distances. Chiron is a superbly practical old school people carrier, with room for seven on board. All Sharons come with a manual gearbox as standard, but you can upgrade to a smooth twin clutch automatic. Ford S Max. The Ford S Max is a bit like a rucksack designed for long-distance runners, it's roomy and practical, yet much sportier than your typical hiking bag. With all seven seats in place, the Ford S Max has 285 liters of boot space so you'll have no trouble packing in a few suitcases or a fair-sized weekly shop. You can flip the rearmost seats down to carry longer items and fold all but the front seats away to safely store a few bikes or some giant-sized flat-pack furniture. The Ford S Max's boot opening is wide, square and low, so it's dead easy to slide in heavy boxes and the flat load bay means you can easily push them all the way up behind the front seats. You can get the Ford S Max with just two diesel engines. Both are 2.0 liter units. 2.0 liter diesel engine with 150 horsepower is your best bet if you do a mix of town and motorway driving. If you're planning to carry heavier loads or tow a large trailer, the more powerful 190 horsepower 2.0 liter diesel engine is a better choice. Both engines can be had with either a 6 speed manual gearbox or an 8 speed automatic. Galaxy. The Ford Galaxy's roomy cabin comes with seven seats arranged in three rows. There's loads of space for lofty adults to get comfortable in the front seats. Even with all seven seats in place, there's enough space in the Ford Galaxy's boot for a weekly shop. Fold all but the front seats down and it has a load bay big enough to put some vents to shame. The seats in the middle row aren't quite so adjustable but you can still slide and recline them. 
the Ford Galaxy is dead easy to drive, whichever engine you pick. If carrying plenty of heavy loads sounds like something you'll be doing regularly, you'll want to pick a Galaxy with a 190 horsepower 2.0 liter diesel engine. There's also a 150 horsepower 2.0 liter diesel model that's a better option if you spend more time in town. Both can be with an automatic, instead of the standard 6-speed manual gearbox. Citroen Berlingo. This is a great car, with brilliant space and practicality. It's available in two forms. The 5-seat only M model and the 7-seat XL. Both offer huge amounts of room for the front passengers. There are 5 engine choices, 2 petrol and 3 diesel. If you carry out most of your driving in urban areas with lighter loads then one of the patrols is a safe bet. Don't expect your Berlingo to win any track days, it's about comfort first and foremost. As such as manages to smooth out all but the worst ruts and potholes, and its steering is light for easy low speed maneuverability, rather than intricate cornering precision. BMW 2 Series Grand Tourer. If you need 7 seats but also value a premium interior, then the BMW 2 Series Grand Tourer offers both. It was launched in 2015. Last update were in 2018, getting a new front end design is capable of 0 to 62 miles per hour in 9.8 seconds while the 192 bhp turbocharged 2.0 liter reduces that time to 7.9 seconds. <laughs>